Oh, chat. That one looks really big. Oh, fucking hell, mate. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, that's so chill. Oh, the kangaroos. Yes. Oh, it's a tree kangaroo. What? Oh, my God. What the f is that thing, bro? He's like, I don't know. Oh, this one's going. Hello. Hello. Son, this is uh, the last time we're at the reptile park. Oh, my God. Why are you trying to f the kangaroo, dude? <laughs> that is the most sensual photo I've ever seen with a kangaroo. <laughs> Wait, they let you do that with yeah, kangaroos? Yeah, yeah. The it's an you awesome photo. Bro, bro, I am going to pet every fucking animal. It's not even a joke. Dude, they're going to see my vibes. I'm going to vibe out the kangaroo. He's going to see my vibes and be like, let's be best friends. What about the like spider enclosures and those? Wait, what? There's snakes and spiders? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spiders are not fucking pets, dude. What do you mean? We, we're going to a zoo. Why do they have spiders in the zoo? <laughs> the zoo that we're going to is where they send the funnel web spiders alive and they go and like they milk the venom. How do they milk the venom? Do they just suck on it? Like, yeah, how does they, that? <laughs> they, they, just, they get like those tiny hands to jerk off the fucking spider. We're here. Oh, it's dinosaur. the big dinosaur. Australian oh, reptile park, we're here. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Ladies and gents, we're out here in Australian Reptile Park and we're gonna go see fucking dingoes, kangaroos, reptiles, and many of the wildlife that's out here in the fucking outback. That's great. That's I'm so, so glad Connor didn't do that. <laughs> the voice the whole time we're out here. Oh, dude, him. I am so much more annoying than Connor. <laughs> I did the Japanese accent when I was out there as well. <laughs> when you're speaking to the really kind of like uh, Oka kind of guys in there, you should really yeah, do the voice up. to them. A proper Shayla. Nice. Oh my God, look at this, dude. Look at all this fucking nature. <laughs> I am gonna be unbearable. Whoa. Oh. It's just, just the hand, <laughs> hand drive. I thought there. there was an animal for a second. <laughs> Whoa, is that a dingo? Right, um, yeah, my name's Imogen, so I'll be doing your behind the scenes talk. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Yep. Um, we're gonna head straight up to our venom room and watch a milking, so that's oh, super cool. So sick. start it off with the best first. Oh my yeah. We're gonna watch a milking. Yeah, so... Um, so um, the only thing was reception. Right Zero. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, is that a frog? Wait, yeah. in the milking right, right room. Oh, really? No, these it's are alligators. Yeah, so Got roughly like 44 American alligators in there. Oh, wait, American alligators? Yeah. Why yeah. not Australian alligators? Because uh, Australia doesn't have any alligators. So you have American alligators and Chinese alligators. We've got saltwater crocs and freshwater crocs here. So when they, but they, when they live in Australia, they become Australian alligators. No? Kind of. If, if, if you want to get technical with it, they are Australian now. How long have they lived here? Um, some of them, so they, we got our first batch of alligators in 1968. Um, and our oldest one that we have in there is 80 years old. His name's Mr. Googly. So he's been here for quite a while now but then we've got other ones that have Yo, been what is that that's a bird i'm gonna be unbearable i'm letting you know oh elvis or shirley is cranky as croc he would literally easily be able to if nick came to the edge there would be able to jump out and grab nick and nick wouldn't even see him so it's a little bit scary Wait, well he's cr so why is he cranky nick's like got his stick ready to risk it all that's crocodile yeah. Wait, so if he comes up, like, Nick just smacks him with the stick? Well, Nick would see him come up to the surface. That's why he's got that distance between him and the edge. But it's more so these guys can renovate and do work in the yard, and Nick can kind of watch where he is. Dude, what the... Can he gump, jump at us from here? No, he can't get over this fence. They definitely can jump quite high, but he can't get over this fence. Big L. Big L for Elvis. What makes Elvis particularly cranky? Um, well, he's a wild... Oh, he's coming there up. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Yo! Do you guys feed him every day? No, so in the wild, they'll probably eat maybe like five times a year. Okay. Um, but we feed him every weekend and over the school holidays. So we instead of feeding like a really large food item, he gets fed smaller meals. In the wild, they'll eat like 200 kilos max a year. So um, even though he's such a large animal, they don't need to eat heaps. Um, so he gets fed like small pieces of chicken. Um, but yeah. Oh, Go ahead. Oh. Oh, I That's saw a water dragon. Oh, bro, dude, what the fuck? They're just chilling, bro. 
dude, he's just chilling. Oh, chat. You might struggle with reception in the milking room. We're going into the Chinese dick milking room right no, right now. Yeah, this is the Jordan Peterson room. If it F's in there, uh, maybe I'll pull out. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see if we can watch the dick milking live. Apparently Connor was unable to do so. Yeah, it's it a was, fuck. It was a big snake, and it's it like so fucking angry. like the most poisonous snake as well. So, have you done a look check or rubbing? Chad, I walked outside for you guys because unfortunately there's no service in there. They're filming it on my phone camera. Look at this guy. Yeah. He looks so good. He looks naked. And that's a green iguana. Green? I think they're called green iguana. So these guys are blue tongues. They're the biggest um, skink we'll get like in your yard. Yeah. They're really nice. They're like okay. really, they just kind of eat snails and they're really chill and there's a kid you can pick them up. Okay, I'm fucking bored. God damn it. Come on, hurry it up. It was crazy. You just like fucking busted out a tiger snake and it just psh, immediately latched on to a shot glass with a, a styrofoam on top of it. When they send the funnel whip spiders here, they milk them to also make anti-venom because uh, seemingly lots of venomous snakes and spiders in Australia. Fun fact, from what I understand, apparently in New Zealand, Zealand, no venomous snakes at all. I guess New Zealand on top for that one. Yeah, New Zealand, number one. Australia, number two, maybe. Hi, can I ask you a question? Is it true that New Zealand has no uh, venomous uh, animals, like no venomous snakes or no venomous spiders in comparison to Australia? I'm actually not sure. I, I couldn't tell you for certain. Okay. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I'm so sorry. It's all good. Sorry, I was going to squeeze past I just, down. I saw your fatigue, so I was like, this is the most knowledgeable person to ask <laughs> this question. Have a good one. What the? So, this one is a shingleback lizard, um, or they're called two-headed lizards. So. Obviously, you can kind of see their tail is to replicate their head. Um, now, in the wild, what they're going to do is, if they are being attacked, they're going to flip themselves around, kind of show their tail instead, and then they've got really strong bite forces. Again, they're not venomous or anything like that, but they have really, really strong jaw muscles. Um, I love these lizards a lot because what they actually do is they mate for life. So they'll find, you know, their girlfriend or boyfriend and they'll stay with them no matter what. So if her boyfriend got hit by a car, she's gonna sit with him oh. until she starves herself and dies. They're oh like proper loyal lizards. Oh my God, their butt looks like their head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned she that. literally just said that. You can have a little pat of it if you like. They look like the most like a dinosaur out of any yeah. lizard I've seen. Those scales. It feels like a pine cone. It does look like a pine cone. Can you hold this for a second? Oh, or oh, you know, go pet it if you want. Now, they give birth to live young, so they don't lay eggs. Oh, just like here? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Oh my god, it's looking right at me. <laughs> Oh, blue tongue lizard. And there's just a water dragon chilling with them. He's, he's such a dickhead. He's not in captivity. He's no, just, he's just flexing bragging. on them. <laughs> he's like, I can leave at any time. <laughs> what if he brings them presents from the outside world, though? I, I like the amount. Oh, oh. Those are American ones. That's a big boy. Look at this head. Oh, fucking hell, mate. It's, oh, these are gators. It's not a croco. These are gators. Gators are the chill ones, right? They still look just as mischievous and just as dangerous as oh, the crocs. They, they know off. there's food. That's why they're coming over here. Look. Do we get to feed them ourselves? Yeah, I think so. You can't pet them though, right? Who did? Who got attacked? We were out on this lagoon and we were doing um like just our feed that we do every weekend. And the biggest male, his name's Ivan. He is like known for killing a couple females alligators are pretty placid like they're pretty calm for crocodilians but ivan's just an absolute menace um and i had food near me and he's just come flying out of the water everyone else is on this ramp um and we have a stick just that's all we get given a stick and usually you tap an alligator on the nose and they lay down and they walk away from you and he all 450 kilos of him was just charging what? at me Whoa. and I was like almost pinned to the fence I'm like oh my gosh I love you mum this is how it all ends um but I ended up getting someone else to come help and we managed to move him but we both had to put like all our body weight on the stick to kind of keep him away but he was just thrashing his head around trying to grab us which was is he around which which yeah um uh... so ivan he's massive he's our largest alligator and then mr googly is the oldest he's 80 years old what would my chances be if i swam to the other side of making it to the other side um, you'd would make you it, you wouldn't you think... finish with all your limbs, but you'd make it. Oh yeah, I would make it. Yeah. I so, mean, I feel like once you lose a limb, it 
it no, gets no, harder to swim Yeah, away. it kind of goes downhill from there. So with our alligators, like I could probably walk out and go for a bit of a swim. I'd be okay for a little while, but, and especially if you jumped in the water, because like alligators don't see humans as a food source. They eat small to medium mammals mm. or reptiles. So whether that's their own young when they hatch out of eggs, um, or if it's like turtles and fish like that's what they go to towards to eat birds as well um whereas saltwater crocodiles like elvis looks at humans as a nice snack um, i didn't know that they were they even exist i thought all crocodiles were freshwater and then i found out that they eat sharks yeah no salt water and because he's a saltwater crocodile that doesn't mean that he can just swim in salt water. So he can swim in fresh water as well. That's too much. That's OP. That's OP. They need, they need to nerf that shit. That's yeah. crazy. That's an apex predator. So they don't have salt glands, so they can only swim in fresh water. Fresh waters are tiny. They don't get super big. These ones are your alligators. So they only swim in fresh water. These can't swim in salt water. But salt water crocodiles, they can swim in both. There's a little bit of chicken in here. Um, you can just take a piece each and throw it in if you want. And we'll wash our hands after. So are they like social for like I missed. Oh, did you miss? David, oh, that's yeah. crazy, bro. I'm gonna have to jump in and grab that now. Wait, that's really? That's good for the camera. It's not good when my hand goes. Oh. We'll bait it. We'll bait it when you go there so they go in the other direction. How about that? That one looks really it. big. If it goes terribly wrong, oh, we're gonna oh. go halves in whatever we make from YouTube. Okay. <laughs> There's one more yeah, you piece. Tell it's a daily mail. Do you want me to hold this oh, up while you go in there? Yeah, let yeah, me just... I have a little bit of that. space what about just for you to jump this fence. <laughs> you want me to throw it? Oh, he threw it on his head! You want me to throw it while you're there? Nah, should be fine. Oh, they're looking... Oh, absolutely Oh, no. shit! They, that one is looking at you. Did you hear his noise? Oh! He went. Ooh. <laughs> that was scary. That one looked at you like he was like. You, this you is... thought it was scary. You tried being on the other side of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> so they can hold their breath underwater for five hours at a time. So that's why Elvis is super scary because crocodiles in general, if they're trying to eat a person, they'll see where you are, go underwater, they'll stay there for five hours. You don't know that there's a crocodile right in front of you. So you're like, no, nah, there's no movement, no bubbles. You go in, wash your hands quickly or something, and he lunges out, grabs you, drags you back in, done. Where is Elvis? Which one? Elvis he was, was the one the, up the there. The croco, the saltwater uh, croco. That's the big yeah. Boy. Every now and then, like a male or female will rip each other's limbs off. That's as crazy as it gets. Do they hunt together? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, oh, this is what, chill. How, how does it get crazier than that? Um, uh, well, itself. Elvis ripped his girlfriend's head off, so that's how it gets crazier. So he's a wild crocodile. He's like 57, roughly. He had to be removed because it was that, or he, like something bad would happen to him because when crocodiles are trying to kill people, you know, it doesn't end well. So they removed him, took him to a crocodile farm to kind of keep him safe. But he's a very handsome crocodile. He's got all his legs. It's what you look for in a crocodile, with all of his <laughs> limbs. Um, and they wanted to use him for breeding because he's so large. So they gave him a girlfriend once he kind of settled into the farm. Um, and they went back in and he'd taken a head off. So they gave him a couple weeks, waited for him to settle back in, gave him another girlfriend and same thing, head was gone. So, and then they said, oh, like, you know, we, they wanted to get rid of him and we needed a new crocodile and they're like, just have him for free. Um, huh. Didn't tell us why, and then we got him here and what realized very soon why. Yeah. Wait, well, how did you guys find out that he was the danger? Because he ate our lawnmower. <laughs> ate the lawnmower? Yeah. Like, yeah. not the human that was mowing the lawn. No, came flying out and grabbed the lawnmower and dragged it into the water. Oh my God, bro, yeah. that would be so sick to watch though. Well, it, it got filmed, it's on YouTube. Even when we feed him, he'll try and eat us instead of the food that we're offering to him. I've had him before, like, come flying up out of the water to try and grab me when I've been out on the outside just scooping his pool, even. Um, I like that all of that and a stick is, like, the only thing that's Yeah, just a little him stick, to, stick to tap him and be like, no. Nope. What if he eats the stick? Then what happens? GG's, you're dead. You I'm out of there. Mean? I've got to try and get out. Lawn, lawn mower in his track so get out. Yeah, all it's his favorite. Well, so we are going to head into this koala yard first um so this is our koala preschool and uh, we've got three of our male joeys in here so when we go in just make sure you don't pat them on their face at all or try and pick any of them up sometimes the koalas will like climb over to you but we'll head on in have as many pats as you like they're super fluffy and cute oh my god are there any particular animals that like uh like shiny objects and stuff that i need to take off my jewelry 
No, okay. no, there's in the Alvea sanctuary. There's like some animal that, like the emu, likes it. The emu will pick at your fucking jewelry. Yeah. Oh my god, that this is insane. Oh my god, oh my god. There's they're right in front of me. So there's one koala that actually loves to bite. That's the one. <laughs> this guy. Um, yeah. his name's Phoenix. Yeah, straight away he's like, oh, I will take your finger off. Oh. Aww. Yeah, it's all all cute until he. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like that even when he's going for the bite, it's still, still slow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh. 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 So this one is Pete. So he is one of our favorites at Can the moment. Can we pet him? Yeah, of course. So he's only one year old, <gasps> um, but he's our youngest Joey at the moment. And then Angus is hiding, having a little sleep. With koalas, they'll live anywhere from like 12 to 14 years. But unfortunately, there's only about 40,000 of them left in the wild. Um, and that's just due to deforestation, bushfires. Um, they are on their way to extinction, unfortunately. So in the next 25 years, you probably won't ever see a koala in the wild again. Why don't people have them as pets? Because it feels like this is a very chill pet. Um, it is, they poo 200 times a day. That's usually <laughs> a good indicator that you don't want one as a pet. Seems like a challenge for that many American psychos would take <laughs> on. Yeah, see, I would absolutely take it on. But because they're an endangered animal, so people that work at like sanctuaries and stuff, like as keepers here, we can take them home and hand raise them if they're joeys. Um, obviously the receptionists aren't going to take a koala home and hand raise it only like a qualified zookeeper but we have to take mammals home all the time like tassie devils wombats kangaroos koalas we're always hand raising joeys so um we kind of get to take them home for a bit that's a good perk for the job yeah, yeah the crocodile cool. danger not great no. but this kind of makes up for it i work with reptiles so i get the crocodile side of it but i do get to come in here and cuddle them every now and then okay so this I seems like the better job than your thing well you're milking you're milking venomous spiders. dangerous spiders i know and, and other people just get to hang out with them but they don't they have like syphilis or something um so they do carry a lot of diseases they have retrovirus chlamydia they get leukemia like there's a lot of things they do get which are very common but they fuck a lot because yeah, <laughs> yeah that's well that's why we keep the females and males separate um so oh. when they it does come to breeding we'll pair who we want to go together um but You're at the moment fuck a lot, he's just a little baby <laughs> so, it looks like he's just falling asleep you know what's really yeah. funny about this so is this, they are like old people well they sleep for anywhere from 18 to 22 hours a day so they're sleeping all the time as soon as they're awake they're eating now these really eucalyptus <laughs> leaves they're a super toxic <laughs> leaf really low in nutrition which is why they sleep for so long if humans ate these we'd like end up dying from them because they're that toxic but the koalas have a special enzyme in their stomach that they can break down the leaves but they're almost like a bit high all the time <laughs> yeah um which and they're just so tired so the more you work with koalas the more you realize they don't really have a lot going on up here um but they're high. really cute just a little, just a little baby he's just yeah. a little he's baby. just blazed hey alex this guy's yeah. completely asleep he is his, so his fucking face, passed out his face is smashed he looks oh, he looks like, strong. He's like flinching. He's, he's dreaming. No. What do you think he's dreaming it's, about? Yeah, everyone Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I better wake up and there's going to be leaves around me. They're probably one of the only animals that it's like you can justify them being in a zoo. Because it's like, they don't move. For those of you watching at home, there is like a, just like a layer of piss smell when you first walk in. You get used to it. There's a lot of shit. There's a lot of poo. Um, and they do that while they sleep as well. So they it's just, shit themselves while they're sleeping? Yeah. That's awesome. So I'll be holding them. And I'm like, oh, he's going to sleep. And then, yeah, it just, just happens. What's their poo like? Little poo. That's, 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 that's a pretty, that. like, that's a not a safe give it a, give, it a, give it a whiff. So how bad is the bite? Like, if, if that little one bites, like, does uh, it break your finger? No, like, like, I always have bites on my hands. Like, there's not much going on. Is that, like, from a koala? That's no. from a koala. Oh, it is. That's, Wait, that's from a, a koala. Um, I had a chunk of my eyeball taken out huh. from a koala. What? It's 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 How there, but under my eye there's a little scar. So we had a koala that was a bit younger, and it was my own fault. I got my head too close when I was changing the leaf, and its claw went under my eyelid and took a little chunk out. And I went to hospital. I'm like all the cool animals I work with, like really the koala. Like I couldn't be like, oh the crocodile bit me. Like yeah. they also look like animatronics. Yeah. Like the way yeah. they move is so particular that it oh, does feel like. Hey, really? It does feel like a, like an animatronic, like it's not real. He's looking at those leaves. <laughs> he's a yeah, big he's boy. A big oh boy. my god, does he bite? Um, he can bite, all koalas can bite. He chooses to be nice. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's oh just under 10 kilos. God, look at the nostrils on this one. God 
Damn. So that's his a big fur's boy. a little bit more like coarse and wiry than the joey's. Mm. Very he smelly. <laughs> So the reason the males stink, so the females stay smelling lovely, the males get really smelly. So the claws hurt when you wipe them onto Yeah, no, it's not fun. No. I'm not enjoying yeah, I was myself. Say the one on your neck doesn't look nice. Well, no, he's I he's always go home all scratched up. Yeah. Um, it's not great. The babies are way softer. <laughs> well, thank you for doing this for us. That's all right. But the reason they smell the males is because when they get older, they need to mark their territory. So they all have their own unique that smell nice. oh, on he... smell his chest, touch his chest. Does he Where have a spot that he likes? Like being Where do I? Out? Over here? Touch his dirty patch there on his chest. Thing. Yep. <laughs> now smell your fingers. That's, that's weird. <laughs> You're like, it smells like oh, my Oh, it does. Day. It yeah. smells <laughs> weird. It what doesn't, the? It yeah. smells it like. It smells like chemical. Like, yeah, it's really bad. I don't so know what that is. Stuff it smells, smells like. I never thought like, anything like it. smells like, like sweaty balls crossed yeah, with cheese but, or but something. His hands feel like. Claws are sharp. Oh. In your eye. Oh. Oh, does he like that massage? I feel like he likes this. Like around his neck. He's like, uh. It's such a weird smell. We'll go um, feed our cassowary now. Sick. Oh. What is that? It's the bird. Um, so it's the bird. The third largest bird in the world. Most dangerous bird in the world. Oh my god. Wait, do you guys have a shoe bill here? Or what is it? Yeah, shoe bill. Oh, shoe no, I was going to say, do you have shoe bills? No, here? we don't. They're With, fucking insane, right? Like they, they yeah. kill everyone and everything. I don't think they're Australian though. They're like African or no, something. No, cassowaries, they're like your number one bird that's going to kill someone. He's in with two females or one hey. female. We're trying to spice oh, things excited. up for them and get some of them breeding. But when we're behind here, um, just make sure you don't stand up against the fence towards him because he'll kick you through the fence yeah. um, and it'll send you to hospital. I got like a really, sh really sharp one thing. Oh, that's the thing. With, that's the thing that we watched in the video, right? Yeah. Oh, Most dangerous bird in the world. So with Cooper, so cassowaries are through divorce. So they only eat fruit. Um, when you feed him, he's got no interest in biting you. Well, he just wants the fruit. So when you feed point. him, you can just grab it in your fingers like this and bring him over and he'll yeah. come and grab it off oh, so you. So beautiful. Will you grab it off my hand? Or will you... Yeah, however you feed it to him, he just wants to get the fruit off you. He might get your finger with it. Doesn't hurt. Oh, it doesn't hurt? No. I you just reach your hand all the way in. So, Cooper. More um, grapes. Oh, that's so chill. Can I do one? Yo, he is chill as hell. So what makes them so dangerous is actually their feet. So if you look, he's got some pretty insane talons Yeah, yo, and get the talons and shit, dude. Wait, don't get too close though. He, you said he kicks through the thing? Yeah, he'll kick through this bit here. Cool, they just look like, Wait, but he's got a whole, they look like dinosaurs. He's got a whole trough of apples. He doesn't want those. Yeah, he's super fussy. Even though he, he'll he eat everything by the end of the day, but he'll pick out all his favorite bits. And I'm usually out here every day doing oh. counters. So he knows that I'm going to come out and feed him his favorite fruits, um, which is tomatoes. Has he ever kicked you? No, he's actually never. The only thing that he has done is ran really close to the fence and made like this chuffing noise. Um, but he's never kicked anyone through the fence, thankfully. <laughs> we do heaps of enrichment for all of our animals, which is basically you just want to stimulate them. So this oh, is up. just like a bit of a perfume. He's smell. like, the he's food is praying. over. <laughs> Bro, why are you putting your hand out with nothing in it? He's just begging to get fucking eaten. A test. Um, but with cassowaries, they're a solitary animal, so you won't see them in groups. The only time is when it's breeding season. You'll see the male and female together, but the female will lay her egg and then she'll get straight out of there. She doesn't hang around, so the males have to sit there and incubate the eggs, and then he'll look after the chick for about seven months, and then the chick has to leave because he'll try to attack it. Why does it have this fucked up head fin thing? Like, so what's it, the use of that? It's called a cask, so it's made of keratin, and it's like honeycomb inside, so there's what? no purpose for it at all. They don't use it for anything. It's just there. No, it just swagged out. Yeah. No, it looks like a... They look like, like dinosaurs. A, like a Nation of Islam hat. Like, a, like <laughs> almost like a kufi. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> They also look so intelligent compared to the koalas, like... It's yeah, watching us, looking in our eyes and being like, can I eat this? Koala's just yeah. high. He's not from Australia. He's from Papua New Guinea. Ah. Um, but we have cassowaries, northern cassowaries, up in the Daintree Rainforest. They are a keystone species for their ecosystem. So because they eat fruits, they have a special thing in their gut that actually fertilizes the seed. So when he takes a shit, 
it's a fertilized seed, so it's going to grow into a plant. So um, they're keeping all the rainforest alive, which is super important. So being critically endangered, um, if they go extinct, the rainforest, uh, it's going to affect all the animals. Um, so it's super important that it doesn't get to that. that. So what, the, the, yeah. the extinction is because of what, like they eat them or, yes. or because they think they're like angry and they hate the vibes that the bird is putting what out. What in the rainforest? It'd be like, like car deaths. And... Well, that's because they've built so many roads through the Daintree rainforest. It's like deers with headlights or kangaroos. Like when it's night time and they see lights, they run out in front of the car. Really silly, don't know why they do it. Um, and then they get hit by cars. And yeah, deforestation as well. You know, maybe he is just as stupid yeah, as a Yeah, he's not as smart as, was, as you think. It was but. so sad we were in the Dane Tree and there was a sign that said 14 cassowaries have been killed in this area. Yeah. Literally behind the sign was a mum with uh, two chicks trying to cross. They kept running out and then running back. Yeah, it's really, really bad. And it's literally in the last 50 years, there's been like the most amount recorded of um, endangered animals ever in the entire time that, you know, humans have been around and it's just because of deforestation. Does anyone else want to feed him some more? Otherwise I'll chuck it in. Oh, oh, dude, what I'll the- feed one more, I'll feed one more. Yeah. Don't worry, we can get the anti-venom, it's like pretty close. It's like right here. Ooh. Uh, anyone else? Yeah, I'd like to. they to like attack you in the wild. Um, okay, you're gonna have to work for that one a bit. Oh, oh yeah. I'm getting a little water in the beak. Water in the beak. They are so beautiful. Yeah, no, I, I get it now. The other one that we saw on the video had like ball sacks on his face. Or was that a different species? Is that a Which turkey? Which one are you talking about? <laughs> Which one are you talking turkey. about? Now we'll go see the Tassie Devils. Ooh. And then we got food for the kangaroos as well. Oh, the kangaroos, yes. Chad, are you guys enjoying this so far? It's pretty fucking good, right? I know you guys love the Alvea stream. We don't have a Maya, but we have Australian Maya here. And uh... He knows a lot more than Maya. No, Maya knows a lot. Really? No, I don't believe it. What the fuck? You don't even no. know who Maya is. Yo, what is happening? I just know Australian. That is crazy. She's paid to do this. Well, so is Maya. She runs an animal uh, sanctuary. Okay. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm here for Maya Slander all day, every day, so I, I'm, I'll, I'm with it. Yeah, she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. <laughs> Australia Maya on top. Oh, it's a tree kangaroo. What? Fellow tree kangaroo. So these ones are found in Papua New Guinea as well. Um, there are lumber hole tree kangaroos that are found in Daintree rainforest as well in Australia. Um, but she's almost 19 years old. So they don't typically live past 14. So she's really, really old. They also are a really endangered species, but she's like gone through all the breeding programs and this is like her retirement home now. Oh, so how long do the cassowaries live, sorry? Um, the cassowaries will live for kind of anywhere from 10 to 20 years. It'll range from. Oh, is that the Tasmanian devil? No, this is a dingo. Oh, it's a dingo. So do they eat the babies? Tassie devils eat their babies. No, I meant like, like human babies. Oh, dingoes? Yeah. No. Oh, bird. Dingoes are actually really shy animals. They don't try and go up to people. Like, it's very rare you'll see one approaching you. Um, but our ones are super shy and only like three people that work here. No, if I had to get eaten by an animal, I'd want it to be a tiger. I've already thought it out. I've I planned it. I shark. I like that. What? Yeah, shark would be sick. No, it's the worst because you're drowning. And you can't see what's around you. I have a fear of the ocean. So Thank you. Smart, yeah, okay? No. I'm 100% with you. You are, oh my God. Why, yeah. a tiger wouldn't be better. I say this all the yeah, time. I think you can see what's going on. And the that's tiger, not a good thing. what a cool animal to be killed by. A shark, Shark's that's so basic. Sea. So yeah. basic. I always liken it to like, I'd rather die in the rainforest knowing exactly what's killing me. Yeah. Because like the ocean is like going into the rainforest with a bag, a plastic bag yeah. over your head. Oh, oh. nice to me. Peeking up. Um. Oh, he's running. Oh, he's coming. Gosh, they make me nervous. Jeez. The screams are so gross. Wait, really? Yeah, they scream like fucking like murdered humans. There's two in here, so I'm just trying to see. This was like the scene when the the, uh, the raptor keeper enters the cage oh, to feed the raptors. That. Oh, here he is. Hey. Oh, they're so cute. I I don't think they're cute. No, they're cute. What do you mean? They're like. They're cute. I like it that they're angry. Yeah. The only reason they're not running at me. Oh. Is because you're feeding them? You got yeah. some snake skin to give them? 
Yeah, it's just enrichment like for them, so all the smells, chippies, that are on them. What would they? How would they feel if you gave them uh, some some chicken salted chips? They'd feel like they give them a good smell. They wouldn't eat them. Wait, really? But you can see they're like very invested in this snake skin at the moment. Sorry, I just had chicken salted chips for the first time ever, and it was really a, a life changing life experience changing, for me. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah. They're doing like Lady in the Tramp. They're gonna meet in the middle and kiss. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, it's kind of cute. Wait, are we friends? Dude, so much um, unimaginable swag in one. I think this is like the perfect life. Yeah, I think just... these guys have it, have it made. He's just boss mode, dude. Look at this. They just live for like what, 150 years. Fucking chomping, big boy. How old is that, you think? That one looks younger. I reckon 80. I reckon 80 and... <laughs> and Joe Biden. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he could... 21. Damn it. Good work. That's close. <laughs> Where are they? Do we get to hang out with the kangaroos, like, chilling? Yeah, we're gonna go chill with them right now. Oh, f yeah, we're yes. gonna Wait, there, so there's Komodo dragons here? Yeah, we've got two Komodo dragons here. Um, and you would have to deal with them. You're a reptile specialist. Yeah, well, when we take... Because we take them for walks every day. Um, and they have a harness and they walk around the park for like half an hour oh. and they're fine, but... They have a harness? Yeah, so they step into a harness, kind of like a little leash that, you know, you'd walk your dog with. So you trained the Komodo dragon. So we've had them since they were 16 months old. They're 11 years old oh, now. Sorry, right. they're 12 now. And they've been conditioned to be around us. So they know us keepers. But we'll go feed the ones that are up Oh my God. Um, oh my god. Yeah, so they have a venom in their saliva, but it doesn't. Hi. Really... No, hold your hand. Get away. Oh, yeah. Oh. You can pat them. They're super friendly, these kangaroos. So these are KI oh. kangaroos. So um, that girl. means they're from Kangaroo Island. Oh. Why do they call it that? Um, what, sorry, why do they call them that? <laughs> why do they call it kangaroo island? Because there's a lot of kangaroos there, it's an island. But you think they get like, one of these guys can fuck me up? Um, they would definitely, you wouldn't walk away like without a scratch or bruise. But could I take them? Like, could I just like... Left, right, good night them? Probably not. Definitely not like we had one. one called Bruce and he was bigger than me and he was like on steroids. Like he was huge. <laughs> I was scared of him. Really? But he was really sweet. Him and the other kangaroo, sorry, the big male, um, time, like it was Bruce really exactly. and... How have I forgotten the other name? But they used to spoon each other. Oh, that's yeah, they were really cute. Oh, they're gay? Yeah, one day they, they turned though and oh. they stopped spooning and they started boxing. <laughs> he gave me a little bitey bite. You can sit down. Hey, this, guy, this guy likes to like really This guy's bumping. Oh, so nice. He's like, I've had enough. <laughs> oh, this one's going to Hello. Now. In the chest, you said? Yeah, she's got a joey in her pouch, oh. so she might be a bit more like that. Oh, she has a joey in her pouch? Wait, so joey is just a child? Yeah, so marsupials are pouch-laying mammals, and their babies are all called joeys. Um, Egg-laying mammals and monotremes, their babies are called puggles. Puggles. So echidna baby, platypus baby, they're called puggles. He doesn't like it, I don't think. Oh, there's too, too many people in here. They kick? Um, they can kick, but not like backwards. It's crazy that like rats are kind of gross and terrifying, but then this is like a ginormous rat and all of a sudden very cute. The difference between like friendship sized versus like danger. You can see the like brown ones, those are your KI kangaroos. The gray ones are your eastern greys. They've chosen to not come out because they don't like people that much. I can change, I feel like I can change that. <laughs> It's so cute! That's Wilbur, he is our little wombat mm -hmm. at the moment, so he's going out the back. An echidna. It's like the Australian version of a hedgehog or porcupine. What the fuck is that thing, bro? It looks like it's, it's like a Pokemon. That's yeah. not like a real animal. I've never seen something like this. Do the stingers shoot out or they just... No, they just stab you. <laughs> no way, that's not a real thing. That's like a... He doesn't like... He, he, he doesn't like it when you when you pet it, I assume. So when you're patting him, just pat him out the back of his shell. Um, you can come around to the front where I am. I'll just pat him so that he stays still because he does like to chase people and bite them. No <laughs> way. So what if happens? Oh, he's, he's up. looking at the side. Oh, he got up. So do I just move over here and he can't get here? No, he's standing up because he really likes me. Um, and he he will just sit here and not move now. Like you can come up and pat his shell and 
feel his legs and he probably that won't move. So hard. Holy shit. How oh. fast can he run? There's no running. It's like a slow. Yeah, walk. okay. Yeah, he's very oh, slow. Oh, so him out there, he wouldn't like. There's no sprint. You just walk no, away. no, you're like you literally would just like walk away from him. He does look very threatening. I will admit. They Crazy. are herbivores, but yeah, their bites are just insane. So they don't have teeth, but they've got a serrated beak. So like uh. the serrated knives, you see that's multiple layers in their mouth. Um, I've only been bitten by a Strella once and it was an accident and she let go as soon as she realized but I still have no feeling in the top of my finger from it. A bite from him who's like triple her size, it was like your finger's off pretty oh, much. That is crazy. And you're still putting your fingers near that mouth. Yeah. Oh. I forgot that the entire day while we were like hanging out with these animals that we're about to go snorkeling. And look at more He's animals. going snorkeling. Yeah, he's gonna go snorkeling. Go, I, I hate go. fish. I'm like terrified. Remember when we were talking about the shark? We're trying to get him in the water because he's. I, I I'm, I'm a good swimmer. I just personally think fish are freaks. Like they're weird freaks. To get over my fear, because I'm the same. I'm like, if animals are fine. Like sharks on their own are fine. Fish on their own are fine. You put them in the ocean, and I'm just like, absolutely not. Yeah, it's like so, their space. Oh, shoes. Oh, you're, yeah, yeah, he. Why, he shoes. why does he like shoes? Why do you? Why do you like shoes? He's making noises at me. Low key, like if you get hurt by a turtle, like you kind of deserved it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that is one of those animals where it's like it's a big L for you if you got <laughs> genuinely harmed by. That's him. how you want to go. Do you have any feedback on your tour guide? Fearless. Absolutely. <laughs> Even though I said I would not get in the ocean. <laughs> smart. But intelligent. Sm very smart. Remember, Chow, after this, we are going to conquer my major fear. I'm, I'm legitimately scared about what is to come, where I will be going in the water in an unprotected area where there are sharks and swim with the fishies. So, uh, what kind of stuff is like native to these waters? Sharks. <laughs> A lot of sharks. 